Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Feet in the Snow. This is an absolutely incredible horror game where you have a crazy dream where you follow the feet in the snow, which leads you on a wild adventure through so many insane visuals, crazy characters, and just surreal experiences all around. This game absolutely nails the dream aesthetic, and I had a blast exploring it. I really hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Start walking. Let's start walking. I keep having this dream. Why don't you tell me about it? Oh. I'm in a forest at night. There's snow everywhere. There are footprints in the snow leading off into the distance. Do you follow them? Do we? I guess we do. Yes, I follow them. But they keep going. Can I walk backwards? I cannot walk backwards. I'm gonna walk forward more. They're barefoot footprints, by the way. Someone must be very cold here. I walk forward again. I see something on the ground in the snow. Do you look at it? I can walk forward or I can look at it. I think I'm gonna look at it. We'll see. Yes, I look at it. It looks like a red scarf, but what's wrong? It feels like flesh. Uh, go back. Okay, then. I continue forward. I can walk right or I can follow the footsteps. I think I'm gonna follow the footsteps. Well, what happens when I go right? I'm very curious. I see a path to the right. But it's a dead end. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting that. I was just curious. Okay, well, I'll follow the footsteps. I continue to follow the footprints, but notice a photo on the floor in the snow. Do you look at it? Yes, we do. Um, yes, I look at it. What the fuck is that? It's moving, dude. What is the photo of? It's me, but I have no face, only a giant eye, and it's moving. Okay, then. It's me. I continue forward. I love the snow. I, 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 I have learned that I'm a sucker for snow games. I don't know. I love snow and like <laughs> a snow theme will immediately make me immersed. Eventually, I see a lamppost. The path is split. One way the footprints continue. The other is just a clear path. Which way do I go? Of course, I follow the footsteps. I'm going to die to the left, man. I follow the footprints. Just keep walking. I can't go back. There's an elevator in the middle of a frozen lake. Do you use the elevator? Uh, yes. Okay, then. I walk into the elevator. Very normal. How are we? What is how? The elevator takes me down into a concrete hallway. The footprints continue to a door at the end, at the far end. Can I go through the door? I can go through these doors. Never mind, they're locked probably. Oh, no, they're not. It's a fish. <laughs> it's a fish. Different chemicals. Different chemicals. Okay, and then we'll go back. Um, it looks like a lab. That's a person. It hurts my head to look at it. There's a fish on the table. What's wrong? It's been cut open, but it's still alive. Uh, something is missing. Okay, is this a puzzle? Surgical items. Check another door. I can't go back now. It's locked. Uh, there's a tiny heart in the sink. We took, we gotta give that to the fish. Fish heart, what the fuck? Test tubes. Okay, well, let's go back to the fish. Eat it. I'm not gonna eat the heart. What's wrong with you? Give it to the fish. 
Ah, there's a key. <laughs> what a puzzle. <laughs> Let's go. I got a key now. I'm gonna go back. There was one locked door here. It's locked. Use the key. There we go. Um, take valve. There's a valve on the ground. Now we take it. What are these? Nothing. Are they all gonna be nothing? Or is one of them gonna have something? Oh! <laughs> Hi there. How are you doing? You look kind of mysterious. Okay, one of them has a person in there. That's kind of creepy. Dead. Wait, the door? Oh no, I'm on my head. I thought the doors disappeared. We have to open this door with a valve. Uh huh. The valve won't turn. It needs oil. Okay then. We have oil. Do we have oil? Probably in this room. Wait, right, no, we got the valve here. I don't remember. I can't look around really. Was there oil anywhere? Fish oil, maybe? <laughs> okay. Different chemicals. Can you look for oil, sir? We need we need to get oil. Let's see these fish. Maybe they got oil. There's gotta be some, I thought that was a shadow of a person, but it's just the shadow of this thing. Alright, you get take oil! There we go. That it's a bottle of oil. It's a freaking spiral staircase. There was a look at, at the person. Yeah, we already looked at them. I walk through a rusted tunnel until I see light. What do you see? Uh, what? It's an alley with shop fronts lit up by lanterns. This is such a dream, dude. <laughs> this is like exactly what dreams are like. Do you still see footprints? Yes. Hi. You ordering something? I would like to, can I? I don't think I can. I think I'm leaving. Goodbye. Look at the sign. I'm look I'm trying to look as much as possible at everything. But I don't think I can look at anything here. Just go back. I wanna walk forward. Talk to man. I need to get out of here. Look at shop. There's no one here, but a locked box is on the counter. Okay, we need to get a key. Uh, what the hell? You are creepy, sir. See anything you like. You don't got eyeballs. Or, well, you do have them, but they're just white. That is uh, kind of creepy. Are you going to be like that, too? Yes, you are like that, too. Chose the footprints, huh? Wait, there was another choice? I mean, I guess there was, but... <laughs> I didn't know it would have this many repercussions. Stop being so creeper. You seem different. Does any one of you have a key? There's a big rusted door at the end of the alley. Did I just hear you talking to yourself? You must be new here. Vending machine? A vending machine, it requires coins. Okay. I saw one of the shop owners restock this vending machine earlier. Could you buy me a drink? Okay. I don't have coin. I don't have money, though. You got money? There's no visible way of opening the door. Um, there's like... Um, maybe there's something in these shops that I can click on? You guys got anything for me? So you want to go through the big door? I can open it for you. If you can find a token and bring it to me. Bring me the token when you find it. I'll open the door. Okay, so he can open the door for us. I don't sell tokens. Okay, maybe the other lady sells tokens. Okay, that's a bot that maybe I talk to you first. I haven't seen any tokens. A lady from before. A token? 
Haven't seen one. But if you're handing out favors. One of the other shop owners stole something from me and convinced he's lo locked it in that stupid box of his. If you can find the key and unlock the box, I'll give you something in return. Okay. How do we find the key, though? So one of the shop owners stole. Is it you? I haven't seen any tokens. Is there any key hidden on one of these shop fronts? Key was... Yeah, the key was under the fish, but we already got the key. Uh, do I talk to you again? Do you know who stole? I need to get out of here. Okay, I need to talk to these guys. Uh, I don't see any key around here. Yeah, this box is just locked on the floor. I mean, I don't see it. Uh, hello, sir. Did you steal? Bring me the toe. Okay, maybe you, you're probably the nice guy. You're the evil guy. You have a key. I don't sell token. Where the frick the key at? Look at lantern. Wait a minute. Uh, hi. Is there a key in here? There's gotta be something with that lantern. Is there something with this? There's lanterns here as well. Aha! There it is. There's a key inside the lantern. Got it. Okay, so now we have a key for the box. You thought you would hide it. You thought I wouldn't find that? Uh. Is that... It's an eyeball. Okay. Why did you have this to begin with? Lady, you're fucked up. Here you go. Perfect. I knew he had taken it. Here, take these. All right, then. <laughs> what the fuck? No, no questions. Just, just eyeballs. All right, vending machine. I got you a drink. A can of drink came out. Here, you want this, lady? Thanks. Oh, there's a finger in the drink. <laughs> you can have it. I only want the drink. <laughs> Excuse me. What the fuck? That's not what I expected. All right, who wants a finger? You want this, sir? You want a t you want this finger? I don't sell. Wait, this guy probably wants the meat. No, this guy. You want this finger? Just what I needed. You know, I saw that guy. You know, the one just over there. He's crouched down, smoking. I saw him pick a to up a token from the floor. Okay. Sure, could I have your token? Uh, yeah. I found something that looked like a big coin on the floor. I bought some cigarettes from one of the shops with it. Wait. You just gave me some... Ugh, you piece of crap. So you do have a token. All right, the guy did buy cigarettes for me with that token. You liar! The guy wants so badly to get out of here, but use the only thing that will get him out for cigarettes. And now I bet you're waiting for me to tell you to get this to get something for me so I give you the token. But now all you have to do is ask me. So here it is. Good luck. Well, I asked you before and you said you didn't have any tokens, so what the fuck? Alright, thank you though. I got a token and then I give it to you, right? There. You didn't even move an inch. How did you open the door? Don't think I'll be seeing you again. Oh, what the hell? That was unexpected. <laughs> he did say he didn't sell any tokens. He just gives them. Where are you now? On a mountain trail. It's snowing again and the wind is strong. Do you climb the mountain? Yes, we do. Yes, I continue on the mountain trail. Uh, I feel like I'm going in circles. Alright then, I'm at the top. I can see floating rocks over the edge. You step over the edge. We can walk forwards. I think that's the only choice we have, so let's go. Yes, I step on a, onto a floating rock. What is on this one? I hop across each floating rock. There's something on the last rock. It's just feet. <laughs> what is it? It's feet. 
They've been leaving the footprints. Okay. <laughs> Go back. <laughs> Turn around. There's nothing. No path back. I die. I shouldn't have followed the feet. And then what? What? Huh? The game just... Wait, what the hell? The game just altered for itself. Wait, we have to follow not the feet. We start walking and we don't follow the feet this time. I had no idea. That's... Wait, wait, wait. This is awesome. Okay, let's, let's go to that place again and don't follow the feet this time. I'm very curious. Okay, here we go. Eventually, I see a lamppost. The path is split. One way the footprints continue. The other way is just a clear path. Which way do you go? I will go walk left. I chose the path with no footprints. I see a house in the distance. You approach the house. Yes, I will. Yes, I walk up to the house. <coughs> Try to open the front door, but it's locked. Okay, walk to back. I notice something on the floor. What is it? It's a hand. It's a severed hand. With a key in it. How nice. Inside the hand is a key. Open the back door. I try to open the back door, but it's locked. Maybe this one. This is so cool, man. I unlock the door and walk into the kitchen. Look at the pot. Oh, it's the other hand. <laughs> you could sink. That's a knife. There's a knife in the sink. I take it. Okay, we have a knife now. We can fight. Can we stab this? Okay, we can't. Go to storeroom. I'll walk into the storeroom. What's in there? Jars with body parts inside. Look at jar. Can we break the jar? No. All right, then. That's just eyeballs. Go to sunroom. Ooh, that's nice. Look at table. Uh, there's a key there. Take the key. You thought you could hide that from me? Not on my watch. Look at plants. Uh, I don't want to necessarily stab the plants. I was just checking my options. Go to living room. Uh, there's an eye in a bowl and it's moving. I need something to dissolve the flesh. Okay. Uh, go to hall. Go dining room. Have you been here? We have. There's a person. I walk into the dining room. What do you see? A man sitting at the table. Do you approach him? Is that brains on the table? It's moving. That's kind of nasty. Look at man. I approach the man. He has no eyes and no tongue. Right? Oh, I need to collect his eyes. Okay, I need to collect his body parts. Okay, then. Yes. Um. Go to kitchen. We've already been here. Wait, let's go to the hall and then go upstairs. Go upstairs. Uh, what? I walk into the bedroom. What's wrong? It's flesh. Look at flesh. Maybe I could cut it open. There's an eye inside. All right, got an eyeball. One of the eyeballs. Nice. Go to bathroom. There's a bottle of acid in the drawer. Okay, and then we can dissolve the other eyeball. So we got the other eye, I see. Uh, there's a box that we can... Oh, there's a lock box on the bed. I can open it. That's a tongue. There's a tongue inside. <laughs> totally not concerning. All right, wait, wait, wait. Now we can do the other one. Where was this thing again? It was over this side, right? Yeah, the bowl. It's gonna dissolve everything except the eye. The eye came loose. All right, we got the... <laughs> <laughs> this is a fucked up emoji at the top here. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I got something for you, sir. I got left eye. 
right eye and tongue. What happened? I'm on a road now, still covered in snow. I can see something in the distance. It looks like a car. I approach the car. Is anyone inside? A woman. Talk to the woman. I've been waiting for you. Well, someone. I'm glad you picked this path. The car needs fuel and there's a gas station down the road. If you bring back some fuel, I'll get us out of here. Alright then. I don't know if I trust you because you got no eyeballs, but sir. I will try to get you fuel. I see a gas station up ahead. Look at the pump. It looks old, but it still works. Okay, I just need to get, like, fuel. Going to gas station. Ding ding. Hi, are you gonna be smiling at me all creepily and stuff? There are food items on the shelves. They feel empty. Interesting. Hi. Hey there, let me guess. You want a fuel can? There's one left. If you can find my marble, I'll give it to you. Aren't you, like, I mean, I guess I'm not, I don't have money, but, like, what is this fucking side quest shenanigans? You're a shop owner. Shouldn't we pay you money? Isn't this capitalism? A fuck, dude? Uh, look at sign. Fuel cans for sale inside. There was something, wait, yeah, there was something over here, right? Wait. Wait. Didn't you see that right there? There's like a person over there. I want to check that, but I can't. Uh, do you have a marble? Wait. I guess the marble, could I go around? I can, I can look at this pump as well. Maybe there's a marble here. I don't think there's a marble here. Maybe I can see the thing from looking. Wait, 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 wait. I got a plan. This probably is not going to work, but I want to try. If I look at this pump, can I see the thing? No, I can't see it across the road. All right. Let's go back in. There's gotta be something in here. Um, there are food items on the shelves. They feel empty. So the only option I have is just leave or talk to you. So I guess I go back to the other woman and see if she has something. Maybe the car has stuff. Let's see. Go back. Lady. Hi. I'm not allowed to leave the car. Please just bring back some fuel. Wait, you need to help me, though. I don't have a marble. The eyeless lady doesn't have no marble. All right, there's got to be something along the road. Can I go further back? Oh, I can go further back. Wait a minute. Oh, my God, dude. That's so hard. <laughs> okay. Jesus. It's a marble. It's glowing. Do you pick it up? Yes. Okay. That's cool. I mean, how the fuck was I supposed to know that? I mean, I guess maybe I could have seen this earlier. And then you would have known, but I didn't see it. Hi, right, lady. I have your marble. Here you go. I don't know how you lost it all the way over there, but here. Perfect. Here, take this. We got a fuel can. Now we got to fill it. Boom. I give the lady an empty fuel can. I wonder what she would say. It's full. All right, here we go. I still wonder what this is right there. Is there like a person just laying along the road? All right, lady, you better be happy because I did all that shit for you. Great, let's go. Free fuel, yeah, for a marble. Room, room. She's not driving. Oh, she is definitely driving. I'm glad you chose this path so I can take you home. You know, I often find people wandering this road. I drive them all home. Okay. They all talk to me about their dreams. I don't know a lot about dreams, but something told me once that if you see footprints in a dream, don't follow them. 
You'll be trapped in your dream forever. It's gonna quit again to desktop. And then what happened? I woke up. No! I quit the desktop, you dickhead! Is there like... Wait... So yeah, I think that's it. Because I, I looked at like several other playthroughs and they all have two endings. So yeah, there is one ending where you go all the way to here and you follow the... Because I don't think looking not looking at these is going to change anything. We already checked this. That was a dead end. Um, this picture right here. <laughs> it's just insane. I love that. That's creepy. And then over here, you can either go... You can either go with the... Footsteps, which leads to you, leads you to like Dream Town, where you have to do like side quests for people, or this one with leads, which leads you to the house and the gas station and stuff. What a cool game! So yeah, not necessarily an ending, but that's kind of the point of the game, right? The game is to be like an endless night or endless dream, where you just keep having the same dream over and over again. Uh, I've played some dream horror games, and this is definitely one of the better ones when it comes to like actually nailing just the confusing like. Confusing, yet it still makes sense, right? Because that's the thing with dreams that a lot of, like, dream games miss, kind of. That they just make shit, like, not understandable at all. Like, shit doesn't make sense in dreams, but it makes sense at the same time, right? Because you, like... I mean, you can have lucid dreams, but in the time... Like, when you're dreaming, shit can, like, go from one thing to another and be, like, one time you're in your house, then you're, like, at school when you were a child, then you're fucking doing your master thesis again, then you're here, then you're there, and it, like, doesn't make any sense, like, in that regard, but it still makes sense in your head, and that's kind of what this does, right? You're going from one place to the next, and the transitions between those places don't make sense, and there's always something off in the spaces itself, but the overall, like, the overall uh, graphics and everything do make sense in some regards. So yeah, very cool. I enjoyed that a lot. So let me know what you thought about that. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the lovely game share in chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv. Hit the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.